Jay Bear, and he has this uh, book that's called Utility, and it's called you, Why Are You Utility? And it talks about how you have to basically um, give the audience something useful. You have to give them a takeaway if, if you want them to, to come back, you know, to you in some way, shape or form. Now, what utility is can be very, very broad. But generally speaking, it's if you have it, uh, a way to kind of connect with your audience. I mean, I, I sort of have my own sort of four basic um, things that I think that you need to do as a video content creator or to choose as a video content creator. The, the first one, and this is kind of comes down to where we're talking about, you know, those sales tools. If you want to effectively communicate at sales comms from a top-down level, um, you know, this is where the old school selling techniques and those old school videos that I was talking about before can come in really handy. Um, the only thing with that is you just lose a bit of, you lose a bit of credibility, especially with millennials. So millennials know when they're being sold to and very, you know, rarely would you get click-throughs through on a millennial audience unless it's super relevant. Um, where I kind of come into it more is like, number two is like engaging on a human or an emotional level, individual storytelling. Um, this is good for people who are like entrepreneurs who want to share a bit of their story um, so that it's more of a humanistic aspect to, to their product. Um, number three for, for us is providing something useful. So things like how-to guides or something that users can take away are just worth their weight in gold because that very, you know, that, that's a way to connect with an audience because you're giving something that they need. Um, and then there's also you know, the more sort of like effective devices like visual storytelling or like, um, you know, certain kind of techniques that you can use with, with you know, video editing. And it's, it's something you see a lot in travel. Like there's a, there's a new sort of style of video content creation where it's, it's much about, as much about the sort of the high production value. Um, th that's rare. You wouldn't use that too much, but occasionally, I mean, or, or let's call it a viral video or creating something that, that isn't quite something that you can take away, but it hits you on an emotional level and, and you, or it makes you laugh, it makes you cry. It does, gives you an emotion, you know? So, I mean, they're the sort of four basic ones. I mean, obviously there's going to be a little bit, you know, here and there in terms of gray area, but that's, that's sort of, you should be doing one of those four things. Um, one, one other important one is, is like, this is where it comes down to connecting with your audience personally. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a storytelling thing. It could just be a communication. It could just be, hi, I'm, I'm so-and-so. I'm going to share this with you. I'm going to share my life with you. Um, that's, that's better for things like YouTube. You know, this is where the concept of being a vlogger comes in. And YouTube is basically vloggers now. Like, it's essentially become a medium for vlogging. Um, it's it's the most popular sort of uh, content format on, on YouTube. Do you, do you want to just explain the concept of um, vlogging for, for everyone? So vlogging is basically a way that you can share, you know, a, a story um, or a, you know, it could be a how-to, it could be, a, you know, I'm thinking this today, this is my opinion, this is my personal sort of ethos around something. Um, it could be, you know, a silly skit or something like that. It's a way that you can connect um, with your audience. So you, you can top YouTubers like Ben Marbles, PewDiePie. I mean, PewDiePie makes seven, about four to seven million dollars a year just playing video games, and he's just re he's been able to relate to that audience on that huge level because he has something that is, is kind of unique. And a lot of the, the top tier YouTubers are uh, very much, they, they're, they're identity driven. They have a very specific identity and, and their audience connects to that. Now, whether the audience watching this today is going to go down the vlogging route is up to them. You know, if they feel that they have something that drives them personally, if they have opinions on things, it's a very opinionated medium. Um, vloggers get on, they, they opine, they really say, this is what I think about this and you should think this and you need to hit subscribe and share, share my kind of every day. And that's where, you know, vlogging, because YouTube does require you to create content every, you know, couple of days at least, um, vlogging is a cheap and easy way to do that. So you can actually, all you need to do is just have a decent camera and, and you know, be able to do some basic editing and you can connect with an audience. But then you've got to have something to say. You know, this is where you've got to have a strong personality. You've got to have an identity. You've got to have all of those rubrics about who you are as an individual fully formed before you get on camera. And a bit of charisma goes a long way too. Oh, you've got to be good looking. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> reasonably good looking. <laughs>